Hi, hello, and good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline Silverglint, and I am a vegan bikini athlete. changed my routine now that I am in my reverse diet. I am not waking up first thing in the morning to do cardio and then cook and then go to work. I have a lot more of a balanced and relaxed looking life, which I am really enjoying. Prep, you know, has its perks and I'm always willing to put in that work, but now it's time to kind of dial it back. Enjoy, rest, relax, reset. That's kind of like my motto for right now is rest, relax, and reset recharge. So for today's episode, like I said, I'm just going to take you through my whole day. Right now it is 545. I am already like showered up and whatnot. The first thing I do is I use the restroom and then I step on my bathroom scale to weigh myself. I do this every morning still just so we have data points for my coach. Um, sorry, I'm kind of like losing my voice right now. Something though that I didn't want to take into my off season was focusing so much on the number on the scale. So I got this new bathroom scale. I think it's called like the Eye Health Nexus Pro. And what it essentially is is an electronic one that connects to an app on my phone. So when I step on the scale every morning, I don't even look down. I just kind of like count to like 20 in my head and then I step off. It sends all the data to my phone and then at the end of each week, the night before my check-in with my coach, I look at the data and I input all of my weights so he can see my weight throughout the week. This has given me such like a stress relief because I'm not stressed about weighing myself and I'm not thinking about how much I weighed throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that. I got it off of Amazon. Um, it was on the pricier side, but I got it for Black Friday. So because of that, it was quite affordable and I'm really glad that I made the switch. Had it not been on sale, now that I have it, I would definitely pay the full amount just for like that mental kind of, I don't have to think about it. So definitely worth it, but yeah. So going to the bathroom, weighing myself, shower, face wash, toothbrush, all of that fun stuff that to be fair, like I'm not really the type of girly to get out of bed, set up my phone and then take a video of myself getting out of bed. So I'm just gonna tell you I did those things and I guess you'll have to trust me. Um, but after all of that, I get changed and then I do my vacuums. I don't do my vacuums every morning. I only do it on the mornings that I get up a little bit earlier than my alarm. So my alarm is typically set for 6 a.m. I woke up at 5.45 and had plenty of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some stomach vacuums and I will show you those shortly. One like slightly leaned over holding onto my sink and then one leaned all the way over. This just helps me kind of bring it in and do a stomach vacuum deeper and deeper. So it is a little bit more of an advanced position. There are many other things you can do that involve twisting, seated, lying down on your back. There are many different things and I will probably do a stomach vacuums video at some point. But the purpose of it mainly is to just 
engage your core. It also helps with my hunger. So sometimes if I'm feeling hungry, I'll do my stomach vacuums and it'll totally go away. It also just helps kind of keep the shape of your core because you're bringing it in so tightly. You're getting used to like working those muscles. So it kind of helps you keep a nice physique, especially in the off season. So typically I will do my vacuums maybe like three times a week. There's not really a hard and fast rule. I'm sure since my off season, there's been a week I've only done one. I'm sure I've missed a whole week here and there, but I do try to keep it around like three times a week. take my multivitamin and then just kind of hang out for a second before I have to leave for work. I do typically leave for work around 640 or 645 so this gives me like a good 15 minutes to eat and then get out the door. Typically I would go and take Tucker for a walk but he's actually in California with my parents right now because I have a ton of travel coming up that I'll speak to you guys about later because right now I just want to eat. Um, but yeah, with that, I will see you guys in a little bit after I finish my breakfast. Okay, so I am off to work. <laughs> um, I have work at 7. I'm just going to hang out with the kids, eat some breakfast with them. Well, I won't be eating, but I'm going to make sure they do. And then take them to school, run some errands, and I will see you back here at around like 9.30, 9.45. Okay, so I, let's see, right now it is 9.23. I am actually in my nanny car right now because it needs to get cleaned because my two-year-old decided to chew up the food that I gave him and then spit it out on the ground and it is stuck to the ground. Also, just over time, like, if you have kids, and I'm a full-time nanny, so if you're new here, these are not my children that I birthed. They are my nanny children, and I just always call them my kids because I sometimes, you know, you spend so much time with the kids, they end up just basically being your kids. So, they are my kids by association because I work with them. But yeah, so the two-year-old chewed up his food, spit it out. If you have kids, you know, just over time juice gets spilled, food gets spilled, snacks, crumbs, all the things, and you can only vacuum it so many times. So there is a really great detailing place across the street from my gym. So I am going to run a couple errands and then take the car in to get detailed while I work out. And then we can be a little bit more time efficient. So I am going to quick go run some errands and then I will meet you back at home for my pre-workout snack. workout meal. I have my creatine mixed with my Mio water drops. I have my rice cakes that have like the protein fluff with banana and some plant-based honey, which is just like agave. And then there was like a little bit more protein fluff. So I just, you know, I might look crazy for eating it with a knife, but this is the one that I used. 
One last dish. I'm not going to grab a spoon or anything. I'm just going to eat it. Mm -mm -mm. So it's like literally 10 o'clock on the dot right now. I'm going to go ahead and eat this up. Probably mm -mm -mm -mm. get a couple things done like laundry and whatnot while I digest it. And then I will mix up my pre-workout, my intro workout, like my EAAs, and then I will be off. See you after. All right, it is time for me to go to the gym. So I have my pre-workout in this guy. This is the blue raspberry flavor, the essential pre-workout. This is their most like affordable pre-workout because each tub is like 30 bucks. If you use my discount, discount, Okay, that was Minnesota. If you use my discount code, um, it's just CARE, C-A-R-E. You do get 10% off, which makes it a little bit cheaper, like 26, 27 bucks. But it has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is really nice, and four grams of the L-citrulline. So, pretty good product, really happy with it. I did just receive my huge raw nutrition supplement haul the other day. So I am actually planning on filming a whole not only just like what did I get from raw nutrition, but like how to take each supplement, how to read a nutrition label, and what to look for. So blue raspberry, I'm a big fan. It is a little bit sweet, um, but I wanted to give that a shot. Got a couple other flavors that I will be doing kind of like a little bit of a taste test with. And then I have my intra workout sipper, which is just 20 grams of essential amino acids. That's going to help me as far as muscle recovery goes, and it's nice to simp on something that's not just like water throughout my workout. So I will down this guy, head out to the gym, drink this guy. I remember when we were staring photos. I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming back I remember when we were staring photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming back Call me when you want, maybe I can take back from the gym uh really good workout my right hamstring is so tight right now so I'm gonna go ahead stretch it out a little bit and then I will go ahead and make my post-workout oatmeal have to leave for work I was able to get a little bit of like shopping done because I have a party coming up that I need to get things for um, I had a second cup of coffee because I have an obsession with coffee I honestly don't even need the caffeine I just love the taste of it at some point I should buy decaf grounds because as you can see I'm like ready to go now um, but yeah, so I'm not going to be able to film anything, obviously, while I am at work, and I have no idea when I will be off, just because that is always subject to, like, when the kids go to bed, and sometimes I'm off at 7, sometimes I'm off at 10, 10.30, sometimes I'm off at 8, 8.30, really just depends, um, but I will have dinner there, so that's going to be, like, a salad with my lupini bean seitan, I use the recipe off of Fit Vegan Chef, so... Uh, Natalie Matthews is an IFBB bikini pro and I use a lot of her recipes as far as like my protein sources go. She's fantastic. Definitely check out her page. Check out her cookbook, which I have on my phone. Um, and I also have quite a few macros left over. So I'll probably have like a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn or something like that, but we will see. With that, I'm going to head off to work and I will see you tonight. 
Okay, so it is like 9.30 at night. I got off quite a bit later, like 30 minutes to an hour later than I normally do. So I am, as you can probably see, literally a walking zombie. I am dropping my phone. Um, I am gonna probably make some tea, shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then just go straight to bed. Luckily, I don't actually have to work until 12 tomorrow. I have a little bit of a different schedule because I am going through all of their toys and organizing and throwing away slash donating a bunch so that because Christmas is right around the corner and they're going to get a million and one toys, I need to make sure that they have actually like space for them. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this, you know, day in the life. I know it's kind of weird. I have like a split schedule, which not a ton of people do. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed kind of like seeing how I navigate incorporating the gym and health and fitness into a split schedule, as well as like just seeing a couple different meals that I have. Hopefully it gave you a couple meal ideas. Um, but yeah, so my next video I'm super excited about. One of my friends is going to come and visit, so we'll get a lift together and kind of give a little bit of a deeper dive into the reverse diet. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to go ahead and give this video a like as well as subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.